Welcome back to finals day here at the Drug Aware Margaret River Pro, the third stop of the Samsung Galaxy Championship Tour. We have Italo Ferreira, the goofy foot, representing Brazil, taking on Sebastian Zietz, the regular footer, stands with his left foot forward, representing the beautiful island of Kauai, going head to head once again. As you look in the past, Italo Ferreira took a big win off him in round three earlier this year, just at the last stop. And Sebastian Zietz with a win in 2015 at Bells in round two. Uh, but a slow start here, and you know, hoping maybe an opportunity here. Looks like Seabass going to give it a go. Sebastian Zietz will get the first wave over Italo Ferrer in the second semifinal, featuring that big frontside hack off the top, driving through a section to throw it vertical. It'll be a two turn combo, and now he takes the lead off Ferrer in this second semifinal. Smart surfing from Seabass, you know, just making sure he finished that wave off. Getting that first confidence builder under his feet. Got the inside position off Italo Ferreira, which is kind of rare. Italo likes to try and control that start. Most Brazilians do. They don't like giving up that inside position. Seabass on a good solid wave here. Yeah, I love the bottom turn and there's that top turn that we've, we've been loving and the judges have been loving it too. Finishing off nice, you can see just focusing on that one turn there, not trying to fit too much in. He knew that was a two wave, a two maneuver wave, and really focusing on those two turns specifically and instead of trying to oversurf that wave. So smart surfing to open his account. 2340 on the clock, Seabass draws first blood. You know, he's surfing smarter, he's not catching as many waves, he's focusing on, on the good ones. Now Italo looking to answer back. Seabass just locked in a 717. It'll be a backside carve off the lift. Nice jam, and now he's got the inside corner. Rifling through his turns on the open face. Checking out a possible finishing move, and he's over it. So Ferrer kicks out, and it's fun just to see a big contrast. We looked at the last teapots, Parco, Julian on their forehand. You saw the subtle differences in their stance, but now you couldn't get any more dramatic with the <laughs> approach with Italo over Seabass. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, uh you know, you look at Italo's stance, it's that real stock standard sort of neutral stance where he can quite easily ride backwards on a wave. He's got that amazing ability in the air, but sticking to the face of the wave on this occasion. And you talk about that rhythm that he gets into, and it's, it's very similar to Matty Wilco. Once he starts firing and he gets that rail set, it's just back-to-back -back maneuvers, you know, and that's what's uh, giving him so much success here. No end finish on that one, but he's been, you know, to me, the difference with Italo has been those finishing maneuvers. He's pretty much stomped them more than most guys have, and that's produced wins. So Italo Ferreira wanted to finish. It didn't really give it to him on that last opportunity. As you can see, our lineup was still plenty of size and swell. Um, I think he got his 6 9 on it. You know, it wasn't, uh, it didn't matter in the end, but I think it really mattered for the rhythm of what the waves were and priority. And um, pretty angry with myself, you know. I, just can't believe I missed a wave and you know usually I always think I've got good judgment with paddling in and offshore and stuff but uh, yeah it was just I just underestimated how strong the offshore was and how far out I was. And you obviously you know you recognize that mistake how do you reset off to something like that? Absolutely you know semi-final you know he's he let one opportunity slide and uh, that's that was all it took really. Italo Ferreira the underneath priority this is what he does Joe he just keeps plucking away some beautiful surfing from Italo Ferreira just fired up on his backhand. Rapid fire on that occasion. So not one of the bigger waves and, and you know, maybe not as dramatic as Seabass's wave, but he's keeping that ball rolling. He's improving his situation all the time. A five on his opening account, a 5.67 on that one. So Seabass now needing a 3.50. So this is what this kid does. He just keeps surfing. He just keeps plucking away, posting scores and improving his situation. And the winner this heat matches up with Julian Wilson in the final in really fun main break conditions. We had so many standout performers throughout this event, Pots, some rippable conditions through the main break, and a lot of surfers into the nines. As we look at Ferreira now, on the backhand, fighting through that offshore flow, but an easy rhythm. Nice and vertical, and he keeps on swinging. He'll lose the finish. Unbelievably quick in transition. We talked about the challenge of this wind direction. We haven't seen him use that air game. That was the thought from Pete that that would be wiped out. Now Sebastian being patient, backing up the 717 now. Stretched out carve. Slopey open face, digs in, full wrap with a tight rebound. 
out in front. Nice high line draw. This wave just trimming and bending down the beach. He'll fit in another forehand hook and miss the rocks and put together a solid second scoring ride. We've got a score coming in for Ferreira who's trying to better a 5.0. So we'll see if that's enough for him to keep his lead. You know what, I think, he, he, let's have a look at this, but in my mind, I think he might have done that. He might have improved his situation. Just clean surfing from Italo Ferreira, and you know, it's that rapid fire. Key word you said, Joe, keep swinging. And that is exactly what he does. Trying to fit one more turn in there, and it uh, goes down. So just that rapid fire backhand approach. And then in contrast, the big, swooping, beautiful open face surfing from Seabass. This is going to be a nice little backup for Sebastian. I love that wraparound cutback right in front of Italo Ferreira. That's what you want to do. Just put it right in your opponent's face. Smart surfing here from Seabass. Waited quite some time. So I think he would have got a little chilly. Nerves would have sort of built again. And this is just another good settler. Just another good score on the board for him. It's not going to go huge, but it's going to, I think it's going to put him back up into the lead. Quite possibly more sets approaching. So let's hope this... Uh, Semi-final number two starts lighting up and we see both these guys get multiple opportunities. More waves on the way. He's managing the sets quite well. Ferreira now on a bigger wave with a better opportunity for scores. Lays down a backside track into the pocket. Another quick whip without the lip showing up. He'll just keep on essing back into the source. Now it's chundering and changing shape on the inside corner and Ferreira can't hang on. Next wave is for Seabass. We'll catch up to him with that carve and he'll kick out of there. Hit Delo Ferreira, dry docked once again. We've been seeing this all event long. That finishing section was even tough for Ferreira and that guy never falls. That's how challenging it is on the inside corner. Yeah, I saw Kayo yesterday and he was limping up the stairs. Uh, I went down to make sure he's okay. He said, I'm going straight to the doctor. Landed on his back. Uh, so the, his, <laughs> the backside of his wetsuit was all torn open. Oof. Uh, very similar there to Italo, I think he was, uh, came in connect, into connection with that shelf. Geez, we've seen a lot of drama on that inside section, haven't we, Joe? It's super dangerous. Probably one of the most dangerous finishes in competitive surfing right now. Um, you know, equally as dangerous maybe as Chopu, because at Chopu, at least the guys kick out. Here, the guys are going for that last turn. Italo Ferreira, this is with priority now. He's trying to better his situation, which he's done. So. Some nice clean surfing, just keeps swinging and that's exactly what he does. This last turn right here, doesn't quite pull it off. Watch that end section there, that water collides. We've talked about how you've got to be riding out of that before those white waters uh, connect with each other. Italo hitting the reef and posting a 6.77, his best wave yet. So Italo getting better and better, Joe. Five, then a 5.67, now 6.77. Seabass looking for a 5.27 on that last exchange. With scores now in. From the last exchange, Itolo improves to a 6.77 on his third wave. Second scoring ride for Zietz, a 6.33. The Hawaiian takes the lead now, and Ferrer needs a 6.74 with 9.30 remaining. He's, you know, he just absolutely rips every single time, but he makes those, those little minor mistakes and doesn't get solid results. Here he goes, Itolo. Sorry, Ross, we'll, uh, we'll get back to that point. Itolo Ferreira now, he's chasing a 6.74 on a medium-sized ride. Linking together some solid turns there, getting the finish this time. Eight minutes and 20 seconds to go, but you were saying, Sebastian Zietz, last year, a full, a full season. How many points did he collect? Yeah, I mean, so out of 11 events, all he could, well, here we go, more live action. Sebastian Zietz now. He's going to try and improve on the 6.33 because there is a chance Italo got himself in the lead with that last wave. Couple of big swoops, really getting the opportunity to open up on this one. Wow, that was big, and uh, you could say that that was similar to the 7.17 he started with. Two moves at two bigger bigger moves and a bigger wave, so he might be pulling away 16,750 points. That's all Seabass got for all of last year, for 11 events. This is his, only his third event. If he can take out Italo and take out the final, he's already going to have that much within just three events. So that's that major 180 that Seabass has taken. Yeah, and that, that wasn't so much unlucky as it was just not having a, a full understanding of the rule book. But Sebastian Zietz in this heat has played a, a patience game. He got a good start. We always get worried when Seabass is looking for backup scores because typically he opens heaps strong and then, and then struggles to shut him down. But that's going to be a good number for this wave. But you're right, his story, much like Matt Wilkinson's this year, Matt Wilkinson always just finishing outside the top 20 typically right. and already in three events. He's ensured a spot on the tour for 2017 with a great run through Australia. And it's going to, 
feel like a vindication because, uh, you know, much like Dusty Payne and a lot of guys that you think, like, one of your favorite surfers, but they just can't even qualify on tour. Already making the semifinals, Sebastian Zeet's best ever finish in a CT event. But with this last score dropping in, Joe, it looks like he might be on his way to an even bigger finish here. Thank you, Ronnie Ross. A 9.10 for Sebastian Zietz. <laughs> wow. He's been throwing down so many exciting nine-point rides in different ways. Variations for that forehand hook, showcasing his power. Check out WSLstore.com to buy your jerseys if you're not here locally in West Oz. An important way for Sebastian Zietz. Driving hard, blows out the tail and goes down on that huge frontside re-entry. And now that gives Ferrer some room. He needs a 9-5 to steal the win. Starts off a big slopey, little backside wrap. Another little setup snap, but looking strong and powerful. Hits it off the roof and Ferrer goes down. Well, well, more mistakes than uh, we've seen from uh, Italo for uh, the entire event. I think he's fallen more in this heat than every single heat that he's had so far. Uh, maybe that connection with the reef has given him a bit of a dead leg or something like that, but it's just not looking like himself. We wow, are counting what a story. down the clock here in the second semi-final. Julian Wilson already in the final here at the Drug Aware Margaret River Pro. And now we will make it official. The injury replacement wild card representing the island of Kauai will make his first ever championship tour final here at Margaret River with a chance to win a contest and a chance to re-qualify as a wild card on the top 34. Yeah, well, this is amazing stuff for Sebastian Zietz.